Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can slow down time in your Unity game real time. So, to slow down time you have to keep in mind that Unity bases everything itself on a time scale, and by default a time scale is going to be 1. So to slow things down you would need to modify that time scale. Now I have a low poly scene set up here, it's just something quickly I've got hold from the asset store and if you fancy taking a look uh, please do you'll be able to find it just by having a look for low poly environment pack. So the idea is I just have some rocks floating around they're rotating on a cube and they're rotating themselves just with a quick rotation script. So to get this working we need to create a C sharp script and let's call this slow time. And what you can do, we'll go through a couple of different options. Now, we'll start uh, just in void start. Uh, so let's get rid of void update for now and any annotations. And to do it, what we'll need to do is we'll actually change a couple of, uh, well, one main variable, which is the time scale one. So time dot time scale equals, let's say, 0.5. F semicolon and save. So all you would need to do at this point is attach it to a game object. So I'm going to go game object, create empty. I'm just going to attach slow time and then I'm going to turn it off. So you can see that real time they spin that quickly. However, if we turn this game object on, you can see them then slowing down. And theoretically, you can then change that to, let's say, 0 0.25. Resave. You could even declare this as a variable if you wanted to. So then you've got control over it. So normal speed and then slow motion. So what I'm going to do is do a little something else as well to show you how it is possible to, let's say, speed up time, slow down time gradually rather than over the course of just instantly. So let's start by doing some variables. So public, uh, we'll have float, and we'll call it is time, semicolon, and also public bool and complete time. So the idea here is that the complete time is going to be, let's say, 0 0.2, uh, sorry, the is time is going to be 0 0.25 seconds, so that's the time we want to reach to slow down. And if we do, then we set the bool as true. So by default, let's put this bool as false and save. And we'll be doing this in void update. Open close bracket, open curly bracket. And what we'll do is we will do quick if statement. So if and in brackets, complete time is equals to false, then we do the following. So if it is false, we will take away from the time scale. So time dot time scale minus equals, and we'll start with something small. So 0 0.02, let's say, semicolon. So the idea of what we're doing here is we're taking away from the time scale. So let's, um, let's quickly just change that. Uh, time dot time scale minus equals 0.02f. There we go. So let's also get rid of time dot time scale equals 0.25 and avoid start because we don't need that to happen. So what we also need to do is do another if statement. If time dot time scale equals 0.25f because that's the one we're aiming for and we could theoretically make is time that so let's do is time equals 0.25f at the top so then we say if time scale is equal to is time then we do the following we simply say Let's just bring that down there. We simply say that complete time equals true. Semicolon. And then close curly brackets. Close that if statement. So the process of what we're doing here, that doesn't need to be private either, is in the update, we're checking if the time is 
more or less or whatever to 0 0.25. So let's change that to 5 and save. So if it is not 0 0.25, then we take away from the time scale. If it is, then we stop. That's basically how this is working. So you get an effect of gradual time decrease. So let's uh, press play and check this out. So we've got the uh, rocks spinning around crazily as normal. So if we start, there we go. So that's bringing a, a kind of weird look to it, but you can always control that by changing the time scale right there. So I'm going to press play again. And that value you take away from time scale is a way of controlling how slowly you can go with that. So that is a way right there of kind of bringing something to a complete standstill, as we saw. So that is how you can slow time within your Unity game and essentially come to a complete stop. And obviously the inverse works of that as well. So you can speed up time by increasing the time scale. It's all about controlling that time scale. And that is how you can speed up or slow down, in this case, time in Unity. So guys, hope you learned something and thank you very much for watching.